So I'm pretty, I think we found the doll in every room we've been in. We've been making our way. Well, there you go. I, well, I mean, it's not bad to sort of run them over in our head. It's just I've noticed they've been a doll in every single room in the game, so. Yeah, yeah. I... Now just to figure out what we need, actually need to do at this point. There's 79 total, and we're at 60, which means we only have 19 more to find. Now I need to figure out what to do with this room. Do I stand here and take a picture of something? No, I'm not that special. Well... It's not like a panel is attached to the altar. Stacking our flows from behind the altar, do I like shine my flashlight on it? No? Hmm... Is there anything I need to do in this room? I know that there is a hidden passageway behind the altar. But I couldn't tell you if there is anything we actually need to do in here. I've sort of already skimmed the room more than once and I didn't spot anything. I can't really see anything. I see nothing's attacking me, I and mean, I can observe the main thing, I guess. Do I just head backwards? It doesn't feel right, but I don't see anything else in that room, so I guess I'll go backwards. I can't track for the sides of the altar either, I tried to see about that. It's fine, let's go up here. I'm more curious what we're actually supposed to be doing right now. I'm just going to assume that hanging backwards might be it, on account that nothing, it doesn't look like there's anything there. Really, they wouldn't send you that far backwards without a clue. Or I did pick up a note inside that room. Maybe that note had a clue. Let me look. Lucky's diary. No. Those aren't it. Was my father a clue? Is there something over there? Actually, you know what? I can look at my map. I haven't really checked my map, have I? Map! Did I miss anything? There is a door over there. Okay, there you go. The map. I even noticed there was a door over there. Remember, Ryan, you have a map, and if there's a door somewhere, the map will usually show you where it is. I will follow the map. Yeah, who needs dads? I killed my dad earlier. This man's just an imposter. I see the door now that I'm paying attention. I was distracted by the doll before that even said there was a door right here. Well, let's take a look in this rustic old corridor. I'm going to make the assumption that the 61th doll we were confused about right then was probably through here somewhere because we didn't explore this area yet. Speaking of dolls. There you are. <laughs> the seal has been broken! Well, we'll continue. It goes in a few different ways. Well, I can either go down the moody hall lighting or check out this door. I'm gonna check out this door first. It's actually open. It actually is. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Looks like an appropriately moody room. Hello, ghost there. Whatever ghost you happen to be. I won't approach the ghost yet. 
Now the ghost is gone. Now this actually looks a lot like a Fatal Frame 1 style room. It's got the right type of walls and there was some mask in Fatal Frame 1. This looks like a very Fatal Frame 1 room. <laughs> Above the altar on three sides, offerings of food and alcohol to the gods have been placed. The food offering is rotted and I can't tell what it is. I see that there's a shiny over there. this up. Hall of the Conscious Mind Notes. For the mask of the person becoming an Itsuwa, having Buddhist, or bu having, I don't know why I said Buddhist, having budded must be harvested and used. The face, that, or that face must be enshrined overnight in the Hall of the Conscious Mind to be purified by the moon. That face is then used within a handcrafted mask. After it's become peeled and tanned, the moonlight eradicates the impurities. What is purity? Now let me grab this and type zero film. I'm starting to throw a lot of the more powerful films at me now. Uh, since there's a doll in every room, there's obviously a doll somewhere in this area. That I, I think. Wait, there it is. the 17 dolls to find. Once we get getting close to the end of the game, even I feel like we're going to repeat some of these areas as the guy. And he's going to read a lot of notes because that's what he always does. Well, that one's just locked. My father was always in here. Flashback. <laughs> gonna attack me now? Let's find out. I hope it's not dad's fucking assistant. I don't have the healing items for him right now. I really have expected to get attacked on my way out if I'll be completely honest. But hey, we didn't. Congratulations to us. Let's continue exploring. Uh, pretty spoopy. I like the movie lighting though. Hi, Dad. <laughs> well, Dad's leading to this hallway over here. You know what? I'm. I feel like I might be. A good idea to invest in some healing items if I don't like find anything soon. I don't got no healing items. So I'm going to the house. The festival is finally beginning. The mask will be ready. That's probably what he's saying up to and all that. There's the shiny we all knew there. And here we find more blue crystals. Actually, actually. Fully upgrade Ruka's camera. Her camera almost has all the power. Well, nothing here or there. I guess we'll go through then. So we can go through a door, this would still count to the same area. So, yeah, let's open this up. If it's not locked. Yes. 
住んでいた家 Yeah. I was thinking that if that always worked, then we must have lived here. Oh, that's actually the end of the chapter. I'm guessing we're not gonna start playing as the guy and then go back to the girl. Probably. I like to say, I'm sure. Which means we'll save right there. And all is fine and good. Let's exit there. I will not save all that. Let's go on to the tenth chapter. Chapter ten Lingering Cherry Blossom. I'm also guessing this is his final chapter. Is so obviously the picture in front of me is ridiculous. I liked how her house was connected to the Eclipse Hall, which in turn was connected to the tunnels, which was in turn was connected to the hospital, which was uh, then connected to the sanitarium. Yeah. However, though, before we really kick straight into this, let me first read my notebook. Case. Islanders case. Cause. Precisely at the time, when I crossed to the island in pursuit of Yu Hibera, when I searched for Hibera, I saw a woman in red in the courtyard of Regetsu Hall. I was overwhelmed by fear of that woman. Is she connected to the people that disappeared? I'm pretty sure this is this guy's final chapter as well, I should mention. I think I already kind of mentioned, but I'm going to say it thoroughly. Chapter 9. Also, I think, let's see my 13 chapter theory is correct. Chapter 9, chapter 10, chapter 11. Yep, I think it's 13 chapters. I think my guess all along has been good. Chapter 9. Chapter 9, Ceremony of Passage. The scene of the kidnapping was the hidden tunnels below Habera Hospital, the original location of the Ceremony of Passage. The girls were brought there in order to be the Kanade and the other Kagura. What was the reason behind the second ceremony? As she follows her memories, her father Soya appears. Chasing her father, Ruka arrives at the house she was born in, the Yomotsuki house. Maybe I'll finally be able to take pictures of all the dolls I saw in there I wasn't able to take pictures of before. This first picture is so obviously, like, down here. Or no, really? No. Oh yeah, no, it totally is the picture. Oh wait, I'm not on the right camera mode, that's why. There we go. Something appeared. I know where that is. Hey, this is when they point out to me that the door is open. The scene looks familiar. Two years after the festival, I followed Tabera and returned to this island. I saw that woman, and then after that, I can't remember. Sounds like a thing worth investigating, if I do say so myself. Let's go get this item. Magaki's work note, too. The artist in this room, Magaki's note. The vision that bestowed work after work upon me, from my point of view, the vision only increases the beauty of the end product. This work depicts innocent, foolish girls asking for help, without even knowing a crime has been committed. Five young girls who seek the light, mixed relief and despair, held back by the weight of the act, committed by that beautiful girl. In my appropriate, it is appropriate to call this work an embodiment of my vision. And now my vision spreads wide and infinite, and there is nothing. This vision shows me relief in the form of a remedy for the booming, or the blooming. We shall be delivered by extinction. This island will bloom in confusion and be exquisitely eradicated. Everything impure shall bloom. Stop and look upon the bloomed woman. The beautiful destruction pouring from the, that face. Faceless. Bloom destruction. I was born. I was born. I was born. I was born. We'll read the notes all collected in a little bit. For now, I'm just gonna head out of this room. Well, the best we can do. There we go. I guess let's take a picture though. He's heading to the gallery, so I'm assuming I'm heading to the gallery. I 
guess I'm going to the goddamn gallery. I didn't really take gotta take a look at it before, did I? Now it's open, though. I remember at the very end of his last chapter, it was locked, but here we are. Not gonna disappear, sir. There he went. It's the picture of the burning woman that we saw before. Looks quite familiar. Yeah. Also, apparently, the walking the bear there said Sakiwa that I know you'll wake up afterwards. So there's an item here. I'll pick it up. Black Notebook 3. Is this Hibera's? How long will my sister continue to sleep? Wait, is that his sister? I have done everything I can to cure my sister. My hands are tainted with the illegal experiments. Wait, yeah, right. I remember him talking about his sister before as well. The ceremony of passage caused the forbidden day without suffering. However, after the ceremony failed, my sister was left both dead and alive in a way. Why was the ceremony of passage not enough? What did I come here for? Maybe it would be easier if I could just forget it all. This picture is hope. My sister will awaken. The other picture is ominous and frightening, but I feel calm when I stand in front of this painting. My sister will wake up. One day, for sure. And a Bonnie stage key. A flat key was uh, sandwiched inside the notebook. Regatsu Hall Basement is written on it. Oh. I'll show you where that key goes. It opens up the shrine door, the talisman door, right. That's the only door in this hotel that hasn't been opened, so I guess that makes sense. The key to this building's basement. Where the woman in the painting came from basement. What's down there? A large sucker pain of woman in a red kimono. Her face is blurred and covered in a dark red. It's impossible to tell what she looks like. Of course, this wheelchair was literally out there two seconds ago. That's actually a pretty creepy uh, play up, which means that we're probably about to fight those two gothic Lita girls. I admit that was a fairly creepy thing to pull off there, but yeah. I... Now first check out my notebook here. People, Yuhabera, Hayabera's sister. Medical homicides, uh, medical homicides, an attempt to find a cure for Sakua. Is Habera deeply attached to his family? Was a cure found? We have Yuko Magaki, who has woman in red. Habera's older sister. Was Sakua the woman dressed in red? No one remembers anything. Further than the red dress, even me, I don't remember anything. Things. We have a ceremony. Failure. Did the ceremony of the passage fail because somehow Hibera's sister was both dead and alive, deep in sleep? Was Hibera hiding on the island, waiting for his sister to awaken? Did I not finish reading this? A biography. Name Yuka Magaki, age 51. Occupation painter. Luna Sadata patient. Luna Sadata patient. Advanced Luna Sadata. Impossible to treat. Symptoms. Hallucinations. Amnesia. Yuko is apparently in the alias. His real name is still unknown. Paintings are prophetic. Oh, da, 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 da. We're probably gonna face the two twin sister deals on account that this was definitely not there two seconds ago. There's also something really shiny. I guess I can see on this picture. These five girls. It's similar to the scene I saw in the basement of Havera Hospital. Oh, that's what was triggering. Even more notebook files to read. People, Yuka Magaki. About the paintings. The painting Magaki did bears a strange similarity to the incident that occurred during the previous ceremony. The vision. Is it a, pre a prediction or a dream? A connection between the kidnapping and the ritual. Let's check out the creepy wheelchair that decides to stand here in the middle of the hallway. I feel like it's building up a battle with the two gothic Lolita girls. I will admit, though, make the wheelchair pop up like that was a bit creepy. Speak of the devil. Oh, she's blooming. 
da 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 The ghost left something behind. Picked up the letter. The sunlight was strong. She appeared. I was standing on the courtyard for her veranda. She came upstairs. The air in the courtyard stopped moving. She had no face. That faceless person was the walking dead. Well, I guess I did fear the walking dead. She looked at the man in the garden. That man's face was destroyed. The faces of people that looked at her face were destroyed. As if it were nothing, that woman went into the hall. It started. Since I was born dead, it was my first feeling of elation. It started. It was like going somewhere far away. It made me feel young again. On today's walk, I might go somewhere far away. Maybe I can finally go to the beach again. That'd be quaint, wouldn't it? Anyways, let's head on back. Some different areas to open on to. Well, let's make a exit dash for the basement and probably get attacked by at least one or two ghosts along the way. It's not going to be as easy as A to B or anything. Check Misaki's radio. I can do that. And then open up this door. Ah. Turn around, sir. We got this. Misaki, coming to your radio. Coming to a radio station near you. Now, I should have figured that there was something on her radio. Her radio is like the most active, quote unquote, broken radio I've ever seen. I don't think it's broken if it's working all the time. Not to mention it's a spirit radio. It's supposed to pick up on spirits. Was actually just picking up radio signals right now or something. Broken crystal radio is here. There seems to be an odd old chunk going inside the drawer. Well, nothing there. It's okay. Still, it's been the most active broken radio, so. Let's make a mad dash over here. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'll check Madoka's, not Madoka, but Ruka's room. I'm not actually expect to see anything, but I'll check. I'm here, might as well. You know what I just remembered? Last time that we played this and we picked up a key, didn't we? Which I should go open the items. I still have the key. Smaller key, doctor's office, honeymoon box. Wax and moon car, lady. Back door key, dark film, burn picture, small key, small thing key covered in kind of red dust. We picked up a small key last time. I feel like that's for the thing in Ayaka's room, so yeah. I break on out and see if we can use the small key where I think we need to use the Ayaka's room. I'm assuming that small key we picked up last time goes to the box that was in that room next to Ayaka's room. If not, then, you know, whatever, but I feel like that's right. It feels so right. No, nothing. I'm not sensing anything in here, so I'll continue. Fastest way to get to the room that I want to get to. I'm not really sure about the quote unquote fastest way, but I think it'll be a solid way for me to go this way. Oh, yes, exit there. One of these days, I wish the stairway would get cleared up so I have to ride the elevator every single time, but yeah. I I'll go to the wheelchair woman's room first. Okay. I guess at least the elevator will be on the right floor after this. I'm here to check for you, wheelchair woman's room. So many rooms just to go to enjoy. It's okay, she just lives at the end of a moody hallway moodiest hallways, if I may. What we're headed for is you. 
Will we fight the wheelchair doll? Because we fought the real girl here in a second. Flashing over here. There's the shiny. And you are. Exploit. Found the equipped function exploit. Can I exploit that? Ha 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 ha. Function. Shine still get anything nearby. The amount of points you earn is increased by 1.25 to two times. Really? That's a pretty nice deal, I will admit. That's a pretty sweet deal. I guess I am exploring the system. More points for me. On account that he kills ghosts like nobody's business, that's an especially good deal. Though, because I haven't really upgraded his abilities, I guess Ruka technically is the one that gets the most points right now for killing Ghost. That's only because I've upgraded her abilities all the way, and I noticed that the more you've upgraded, the more points you naturally get, because you charge more power or something. But yeah, I... Let's go make a run over here, going back down and through the door. Now... I guess this game, when does this game take place? I know it takes place before Fatal Frame 1. It technically is a prequel to all the other Fatal Frame games. That said, ironically, the location the game takes place in is like the most modern of all the Fatal Frame games. I always thought that was a bit funny. It's technically the oldest Fatal Frame game. I guess it's set in 1970, but it's set in like the most modern location of all the Fatal Frame games. So it doesn't really it doesn't always feel like it's a prequel because it feels like you're in the most modern area you've been in in the series the easiest way for me to get to where i need to go would be through here so yeah let's get moving i'm gonna take a sip of water while i wait Yep, I know that this disaster happened later than the other areas, so technically it's a newer location where a disaster happened, but yeah. I... But you have to admit, it's kind of funny that the first Fatal Frame game... Don't go to Ayaka's room yet. Oh, what am I supposed to be doing? This is a side quest, right? Go to the courtyard. Right! There's the courtyard picture there, the place that we saw in the photo. to go to the actual courtyard and not here. Open the door. You sure I'm supposed to be going to the courtyard first? I mean, I'll go to the courtyard, but don't cite me for knowing what's going on there. To the courtyard, courtyard, courtyard. Open the door and check on things. Do da dee da dee. Part of the reason why this game has a lot of bugs and a few little things about it, they're not like big bugs, there's a few bugs that are kind of big, but we've been able to avoid a lot of them, is as been mentioned, this game was kind of rushed towards the end of development. They did a lot, I'll say, but. There are certain aspects of it that definitely are somewhat rushed. I don't know why we're in the courtyard, though. Oh, there's a scene that's triggering, I guess. Did 
Can we see this cutscene last time? <laughs> Not this specific cutscene, it's not a cutscene that was similar to it. But did we see this cutscene? I've been like a serious sense of deja vu. <gasps> oh, we, def <laughs> we definitely didn't see this cutscene last time. This time you can't run away, basically you're saying let's fight her. No worries ma'am, I got this. We're exchanging blows here, it's what real men do. I could have I could have for that. Well down with her. Now do I go to Ayaka's room? Well I wouldn't have ran away even if I knew I could run away. I'm not going to Ayaka. The basement's where I need to go. I don't want to miss out on Ayako's room quest. Okay, where's the basement? To the basement I go. bar was in fact reacting. What are you? General Investigation Record 6 found the tape, which means I'll go listen to that. Let's go tape! And let's have a good old listen to his 6th investigation report. setup.
I still want to check out Ayaka's room. I feel like I could and I'd be okay, but... Uh... I want to head that way right now. I'm going to go to Ayako's room. Last person told this is a dumb idea of me, but yeah, yeah. I'll save before I go there, though. There's a save point between me and there, so yeah. I... Door is unlocked. Oh, this door is just gonna be locked there. I will save first. Not my album. I need to... No, I do not want to look at my album. So I go to the basement, I kind of want to come back out so after I don't want to need to do in the basement, so... Okay. Game saved. Since I've already taken some a couple other routes, I'll head over this way to get to the upstairs area. So many twists and turns. The fastest way to get to that room would be this way, because we can't take the easy route to get to that room. Of course that's being a far off corner away from where we are right now. So many doors to open and go through. I'm happy we have the key though. I can definitely say that. If we ruin the side quest or something by doing this, then we can just later save file and then go to the basement. Let's roll. Well, let's go see if Ayako's room has anything in store for us, or if we're just completely ruining a side quest that's apparently somewhat broken. They have two things in a specific order before you can activate it. Yeah, yeah. The door to be open is you. Hi, door. Open the door. Here's the pretty looking room I like a lot. My pretty little room I like a lot. I'm just gonna take a picture of here. I did it wrong. Well, okay, I will reset. Thanks for watching the video! I'd very much appreciate if you take a moment to consider donating to my Patreon, which I am using to try and make this more of a livelihood, not just for missed game videos, but little games to make my own time, and to bring different types of videos to the channel. You can find the link for my Patreon in the description below, or in the video, obviously. If you'd be interested in seeing me recording gameplay videos and doing other things live, I stream quite regularly and record almost all my gameplay over a site called Hitbox TV on my channel. You can also see that in the video currently. Hope you enjoyed the video, and adieu.